What's up, investors? Justin here. So tech stocks have been getting crushed this past month. Shares of some of our favorite stocks like Tesla, Shopify, and NEO are all down from their all-time highs. And even though many of these stocks are starting to rebound, there are still serious concerns about what will happen later this year when the economy recovers. Some analysts are predicting that stocks will rebound to hit new highs, while others are signaling that we could be in for another big drop. Now, what's interesting about this market correction is that it really hasn't affected the overall market. The S&P 500 did fall about 5% from its all-time high back in mid-February, but since then, it has fully recovered. Meanwhile, growth stocks have yet to fully rebound and are still trading well below their all-time highs. But there is one tech stock that has been a big outlier during this market rotation, and that is Calix stock. Calix, ticker symbol C-A-L-X, is up 566% over the past year and is also up 26% over the past month. Which means that as other high growth stocks, both big and small, were falling, Calix stock was actually gaining in value. In fact, Calix stock recently just hit an all-time high of $46 a share at the close of trading on Friday afternoon. And because of Calix's strong price momentum, I also added Calix to my own personal stock portfolio on Friday before the stock market closed. And since I added Calix stock to my own portfolio, I decided I would go ahead and make a video on it. So in this video, I will give you an overview of what Calix does, and then we will discuss what the investment thesis is moving forward, and also why I ultimately think shares of Calix stock can continue to climb higher over the next couple of months. But first, if you are new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I upload videos on a weekly basis about the stock market and investing, and I do my best to create high quality content that you can use to make better investment decisions. So if you like what you see so far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now, even though Calix stock has posted impressive returns over the past year, it's never a good idea to buy a stock simply because it is going up. Whenever you buy a stock, it is vitally important that you understand what the company behind the stock does. That way you can understand the company's growth potential and you can make an informed investment decision. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into what exactly Calix does. Calix is a cloud computing company that offers hardware and services to help communications service providers more easily control and monetize their own services. Or put another way, Calix helps service providers monetize the infrastructure that lies between their customers and the cloud, which is getting harder to do as the complexity of the infrastructure needed increases. And that makes Calix's services even more valuable. Now, if I am being honest, this is not a company that is easy to understand. But at the end of the day, Calix is a company that is enabling other companies to provide 5G services. And this is a huge growth opportunity. 5G will revolutionize the way we integrate technology into our everyday lives, and it will allow us to do things that we couldn't do before. But while there are a lot of benefits to 5G over the current 4G service, the biggest benefit is the increase in speed. 5G promises internet speeds of up to 10 gigabytes per second, whereas 4G can only provide speeds of up to one gigabyte per second. So that is a 10X increase in speed alone. But as we all know, as things get faster and more connected, the complexity also increases tremendously. And that is where Calix comes in. Calix has a number of customers, over 1,400 to be exact. And they have been adding new customers at a rate of roughly 100 new customers a year. But the vast majority of Calix's customers are small regional communications service providers. So depending on where you live, you may or may not recognize very many of Calix's customers. But one customer in particular is a company that I would guess a majority of people are familiar with, and that is Verizon. Verizon is a major player in the 5G space and is using Calix's products and services to help them build out their 5G network. In fact, according to this article from 2019, Verizon selected Calix as one of the lead suppliers for their 5G services that they plan to roll out to all of the 30 markets they serve. The NG Pond 2 infrastructure that Verizon selected will be powered by Calix's Axos E9 hardware. And Calix's hardware is what will allow Verizon 
Verizon to operate their 5G network as a unified single access infrastructure that can handle customers both big and small, from residential customers all the way up to big businesses. So as you can see, there are a lot of benefits for companies to use Calyx's products and services. But in addition to big players like Verizon, Calyx is also providing essential services to thousands of smaller companies. Calyx has a number of services such as Calyx Cloud that help communications service providers deliver a range of services from basic voice and data all the way up to advanced broadband services. And this is an important part of Calyx's business that is growing revenue for the company at a very fast rate. Well, we'll talk about that more later in the video. For now, let's get back to the stock price performance. One of the big reasons that Calyx stock continued climbing higher while other tech stocks were getting crushed is because of their stellar fourth quarter earnings report. For the fourth quarter of 2020, Calyx reported record revenue of $170 million, which represents a 41% increase over the $120 million from only a year ago. Furthermore, Calyx's North American revenue increased by 41% year over year, and their international revenue increased by 43% both of which shows that Calyx is still in the early phases of taking advantage of this long-term 5G growth trend. Now, the other positive sign for Calyx stock is that despite being a stock with only a $2.9 billion market cap, Calyx is actually quite profitable. Net income for the quarter came in at a respectable $24.1 million, and the positive results means that Calyx stock has now posted six consecutive quarters of positive operating cash flow. The result of these strong financial numbers is that Calyx was able to end the year with a record $80 million worth of cash and cash equivalents on their balance sheet. And this represents a 72% gain from the end of 2019. So as we can see, Calyx stock is continuing to strengthen their balance sheet, and this puts them in a very good position to continue executing moving forward. Now, one of the most exciting things about Calyx stock, in addition to their stellar financials, is that they are in the midst of expanding into some new and very lucrative product segments. As we mentioned earlier, Calyx was one of the lead suppliers of hardware for Verizon, which is great news for Calyx stock. But selling hardware is a business model that is inherently risky. Hardware is typically a one-time purchase, and unless you can convince customers to upgrade on a continual basis, hardware sales can drop off over time. And this, of course, will negatively affect the stock price. However, Calyx is doing something that is very smart. Calyx realizes that as customers build out their 5G networks, not only will they need the hardware to make the networks function, but they will also need help managing those networks. And because of the complexity of 5G networks over previous versions, service providers will also need to upgrade their cloud and software platforms that is to handle all of the expected changes. Because of this, Calyx has already invested substantially into transforming their business model from a hardware only business, which is a one-time revenue business model, to a software business, which is a recurring revenue business model. And this is starting to pay off. Revenue from Calyx's software business is already growing much more quickly than revenue from their hardware sales. And with this shift, Calyx's small market cap of just under $3 billion could easily grow to $10 or even $20 billion within just a few short years. That is, if Calyx can continue to execute like they have over the past two years. But if Calyx can continue their trend of strong earnings reports, then Calyx could generate returns in excess of 500% from the current stock price, which would be very generous returns. Now, in terms of what to expect from Calyx stock in Q1 of this year, Calyx is expecting to report revenue in the range of $146 million to $152 million, which would represent a 47% increase from Q1 of 2020. Also, Calyx expects to be cash flow positive and report net income between $0.16 cents and $0.20 cents per share, which would be a huge improvement from the $0.12 cents per share loss they reported in Q1 of last year. So things are looking promising for Calyx stock as we move into 2021. And unless there is a big earnings miss or some big negative news, I don't see Calyx stock dropping significantly from its current stock price. Now, one thing that I do need to mention about Calyx stock before I end this video is that it is generally a good idea to not buy shares of a company that you don't understand. 
For me, this video was fairly difficult to make and I had to read roughly 20 to 30 articles just to make sure I properly understood the ins and outs of Calix's business model. Now, for me, I love doing research and I enjoy distilling information down to its simplest form. So I personally didn't mind doing all this research, but there are definitely a lot of investors out there that will not do the same type of research on Calix stock and will simply buy Calix stock because of its past stock price performance. And this can lead to some serious issues for investors if enough uninformed investors pile into the stock and drive up the price. This is something that has happened to a lot of other software as a service stocks in the past, and it can lead to some big sell-offs when people dump the stock in mass. So I think that's something you need to be careful of, and it's something that could potentially happen to Calix stock at some point in the future. But at the end of the day, Calix is a company that is showing strong execution in a segment of the market that does have tremendous growth potential. And given Calix's push into higher margin and recurring streams of revenue means that shares should be able to go up substantially from current levels. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. Also check out the community tab where I publish my full high growth stock portfolio each and every week. So if you wanna know what I am buying and selling on a weekly basis, all you need to do is go over there. Now at some point I might do a Patreon as well to give you guys some more detailed information, but I'm not really in a place right now where I need to make a ton of money on YouTube. So for the time being, I will continue to keep that information free and on the community tab. So with that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.